Dragon Folk, with the announcement of Magic Con Minneapolis, we are now officially going to see some pretty interesting changes to how the convention scene works out for Magic the Gathering. Let's go ahead and take a look at how they've made these changes and how it actually is good news for Magic the Gathering. Welcome on in Dragon Folk. I hope you are all having a fantastic day. I know I am. My name is Alex and you are all here with me in the Dragon's Lair. So today we have some pretty awesome information in regards to Magic the Gathering. That's right. I said awesome information. Now, before I get to the information, I just wanted to say I apologize for the small little hiatus I took. Uh, over the weekend, we had a bunch of outsider spoilers happen and while I decided to sit there and wait for all the spoilers to come out, I also decided to dive back into Elden Ring. And, uh, well, you can say that definitely hurt production. But now that I am a few levels higher and much more equipped in Elden Ring, I am now ready to hop back into the train of making content for all of you. Sometimes you got to take that little mental health break, and so... I wholeheartedly recommend that to anybody who might be doing content creation as well. But we're here to talk about some good news for Magic the Gathering, which is really, really weird, right? You figure all the stuff that you've been hearing online has always been, oh, Wizards of the Coast is bad this, and Hasbro doesn't know what they're talking about that, which is very well true in a good portion. But it does seem like there are quite a lot of changes happening in regards to Magic the Gathering, and we are seeing those changes happen sooner than we think. MagicCon Minneapolis is the next magic convention that's going to happen. It's the next pro tour scene for Magic the Gathering. And it's going to contain all the stuff from March of the Machines. It's going to be a bunch of really cool stuff there. I'm very excited to see what comes of MagicCon Minneapolis. But they did introduce a very, very cool thing. Matter of fact, they introduced two very cool things that I think everybody would be very interested in. So we always talk about inclusivity, right? We, we want everybody to feel like they are welcomed into the community and not stuck behind some kind of paywall. Well, something that they had just changed recently is that they added a new kind of badge that you can buy for these conventions. These new badges offer little to no promos in in regards to stuff right it's maybe i think you get one arcane signet in you know the fancy version of it or whatever but for the most part you just get a weekend badge for 65 bucks which is pretty good i mean you still get access to a bunch of stuff on the side you can enter into a bunch of events if you want to or if you just wanted to attend and maybe pick up some artist proofs or check out some other cool things that are going to be at the convention, maybe you just wanted to watch the Pro Tour live. This is certainly the opportunity for you to do that. And at $65 a piece, it's not terrible. You know, obviously, when you pay that kind of price, you want some kind of goodies, right? You, you want some kind of extra stuff. And while an Arcane Signet is by no means worth $65, and you're probably going to have to go get it, you know, returned because it's probably going to come up crumpled. I don't know how well they turned out with Magic Con Philadelphia, but I remember with Vegas, a lot of these arcane signets, when they were handed out to people, they were just in bags outside of sleeves and they were crumpled and they had to be returned and replaced for everybody who had that happen. But regardless, you're able to get in for a pretty cheap price. Even if you just wanted a day pass, it's like 30 bucks or something, which is crazy. A day pass for 30 bucks. I can't even get into anime conventions for 30 bucks for a day pass, let alone something as crazy as Magic the Gathering. So Magic the Gathering really, really upped its game in giving that inclusivity. They, they heard back from their community and they wanted to really just open the door for people and 30 bucks to get you in for the day. If you're in the area and you just wanted to see what it was like, that's real nice. I don't 
suggest buying a day pass if you're going to drive 12 hours to go see the thing or fly out to Minneapolis to go see the event. I suggest maybe getting a weekend pass, but teach their own. Another thing that Wizards ended up doing that was actually really, really awesome is they introduced the command zone for everyone. And that is, it's what they called it, and it's exactly as it says. The command zone was originally something that you had to buy a special package for in order to enter, right? The command zone was a place where you'd go and meet up with big names in the Magic the Gathering community, such as Gavin Verhey and... Uh, you know, Voxy and uh, all these all these big stars in the Magic the Gathering uh, content creator world. You were able to go and play with these people in this command zone. And often you had to pay an extra fee or not really an extra fee, but you had to pay a higher price ticket to get into this command zone. And now, no matter what ticket you get, you are guaranteed to be in for the command zone. You're able to go over there and just play. Now, obviously, I can't guarantee that every celebrity or whatever they might be, uh, you know, player in general, lover of magic is going to be readily available for people to run commander games with or pauper games or whoever it might be. But the command zone being open to everyone really does increase the amount of inclusivity that we see with Magic the Gathering. You started seeing a lot of the same trend where the really exclusive stuff was behind a paywall, and that paywall was just not worth the money half the time. Uh, I remember I went to SCG Con Indianapolis, where there was a command zone feature there too, and it was nearly empty most of the time. Uh, and that was crazy to me because I figured so many people were there for magic that at least a good portion of them would have been able to get into the command zone. But the command zone was a hefty price to get into. And I understand that a lot of players were not there for that. They were there for the big 5K, you know, 10K tournaments that were going on for Magic the Gathering. So I am very happy to see that this is a new direction they're taking uh, it is, from what I can tell, the direction they're going to have to take for the rest of all of these conventions is they're going to open up the command zone for free to everyone, which is very, very good. Um, I think this is a step in the right direction because, again, you know, everybody talks about the gathering. And while the gathering is many things, putting a certain group of individuals who can pay a higher price into a separate section with a bunch of other people who would love to talk to the rest of the community and not just the people who are able to pay a $200 entry fee. I feel like it really increases the amount of the gathering that we see at these events. And it, it means a lot to me, even though I don't go to many of these events, but it means a lot to me to see this kind of growth in the you know the the convention aspect of magic the gathering i feel like again we are running down the line where a lot of people are upset with things that wizards of the coast and hasbro are doing and they slowly but surely are looking to take that feedback in and change the direction of how they're doing their events how they're doing their tournaments how they're making product even to eventually get everybody back on board I mean, we even look at things like Phyrexia All Will Be One and now March of the Machines, and we see sets that people truly look like they're going to enjoy. And even Commander Masters, that whole thing. I, I've seen more people super excited for Lord of the Rings sets than I ever thought I was going to see. So it's very, very good that the direction they're taking seems to be in a positive way. Is there still a lot of product? Sure. But I think we've come to the point where we can all make a decision on what product we want. And Wizards isn't going to really take a huge hit for that. So, of course, having all of this good news available to us, I am very happy to see that there are these changes being implemented for Magic Con, as well as the future Magic conventions that are going to be going on over the year. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below about any of these changes. I know some people are still upset about con exclusives. 
Uh, there's also going to be a festival in the box like there was for Vegas and for Philadelphia. But again, these festival in a box are normally sold on the Secret Lair website and are normally sold in a limited quantity. So obviously it's a first come first serve basis, it seems, but I don't even know how much the price is going to be. It says it's going to drop on the 9th, which is, I guess, tomorrow. And who, who knows, right? Who knows how many of them they're going to be? But it comes with three booster boxes and a bunch of promos. So I, I don't know. It seems pretty cool. But anyway, again, let me know what you guys think. I would be happy to see what kind of changes you guys would like to see to the magic convention side of things or maybe just a, a, a cool little promo you'd like to get for even just being there. While you're down there writing that comment, though, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel as well if you have not already. And you can always check the description down below for a link to our Patreon. We do have some cool little things going on over there. I hope uh, with these new sets coming out to do some cool box breaks and box openings for people. And then also on top of it, we do have a channel membership here. So if you wanted to support the channel in a more monetary sense, those are some awesome options, but it is absolutely not necessary. So thank you all so much for watching. I do truly appreciate your support and I will see you all very soon. Nerd out.